Nectars, come on. A power is a basically a social gathering. We come and dance, show our regalia, show our beauty, and dance to wonderful music that has meaning, has spiritual meaning. Almost like a blessing. I feel that there's this big old bubble of spiritual energy just surrounding us. And of course, we have our ancestors here that are pretty much dancing alongside us. Today, we are having our second annual Two Spirit Pow Wow. Last year, we had our first. We got a grant from the Pride Organization for Phoenix. Last year, we had about 24 dancers, and this year, we have 64. Traditionally, Pow Wow is something that is very gender like bias. So, we kind of wanted to erase gender, and we kind of wanted to create a safe space for Two Spirit individuals. Thank you, Standing Horse Dancers. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ian Austin. I am Mr. Southwest Two Spirit. I'm, I'm also part of the Pow Wow Committee. I really wanted to say something specifically to the Two Spirit community that is here with us today. I want to let you know that this was created for you, a safe space for you, a place that you can go and you can feel welcomed and you can feel safe and you're free to be who you want to be. The phrase Two Spirit, that was coined back in 1990, so it's a relatively new term. And it was from elders within the community that were at a powwow, and the powwow didn't have a dance for them. It's someone who, who is able to help wherever needed in um, a village or community. So, um, but they were also someone who just feels that they are both men and women together. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tay Titler. I'm your current reigning Miss Supreme Pride 2020 and your current reigning Miss Apache Diva forever. It really depends on where you hear it and who tells you about it. I heard the traditional term from, from my tribe. My grandpa used to call me it when I was younger. It's not derogatory, but I didn't know what it was growing up. Like, I didn't know that he knew that I wasn't going to be the average child. My tribe, the two spirit roles they had were taking items and information from the men to the woman. So he would say, go tell this to that. We knew as indigenous people, there's more than a man and a woman. There's, there's the, a third gender, there's a fourth gender in some tribes. I'm Navajo, and in the Navajo wave, LGBT people had a place in our tribes. And because of colonization and religion, unfortunately, we lost those teachings. So my organization, Native Peace Lives, we are bringing back those traditional teachings. Good afternoon, my name is Vanessa Losi. I am the currently reigning Miss International Two Spirit. I just want to say that the first time I held it, I won a title. I was in boarding school, I was 14 years old, and things were so different back then. We used to have to lock ourselves in a room and hide and perform our pageant before the dorm attendants came in to check rooms. And so it's really something to see all of this happening and to be able to be here. I came from a really small town. We made fun of it and it was bad. That was like the education that I got. Back in the 80s and 90s, we didn't do, we didn't come out. If this two-spirit power was here and there was any type of visibility for anybody two-spirit, transgender or gay, it would have made my life so much easier growing up. I found out my daughter was dating a girl and I talked to her about it. I wasn't prepared for that discussion at all. That day that I found out, it ended in both of us crying. I didn't understand. That same day I asked my son and at first he denied it and then later he said, yeah, mom, I'm gay too. And that was the beginning of my education. My daughter said some things to me I'll never forget. She says, Mom, why would I do this when I know society's going to be against me? She also said she wasn't going to tell me until she got to college because she didn't want to be a disappointment. 
And that's really hard for me to even think about that to the day because she's amazing. And I realized that I hadn't made a safe space in my own family, my own home for her to be who she is. And so when I started learning more about the community and all the challenges and all the things that are against the community, I said, I gotta do something. I have to do something. Two-Spirit people were healers. They were medicine people. They, they were mediators. They were part of our culture. They have been for years and years. We have to bring that back because there should be no shame in being LGBT or Two-Spirit. There should be no shame in that. In the Navajo culture, we say that it's a blessing to have extra special blessing to have a child who is LGBT. And I could totally, totally agree with that because I've gotten so many blessings from my children. <laughs>